what a year it's been for you personally, joining the club, bit of a rocky start to then the fans singing your name <laughs> and eventually getting your first caps for England as well. Talk to me about your journey. How are you feeling about this season? Yeah, you've pretty much said it all there, to be <laughs> fair. Um, it's been a, a roller coaster, to be fair. Um, like you said, from the start, you know, everything not going as I wanted it to, and then to be where I am now with with the position I've been, I've been at uh, within the club and obviously just going away with the national team. It's been an amazing year for me. How's it been settling into a new city, obviously a new club, such a young age as well, kind of thrown your whole life into disrepute, but for the positive, for the good? Yeah, it's not easy, to, to be totally honest, um, especially at the start. It's the first time I'd ever sort of been away from home, so it was really difficult. Um, but it's a very easy city to come into, to be fair, the, the Geordies are so polite and so welcoming and you feel like you've known them for ages once you've met one for five minutes. So, um, no, it's been been amazing ever since, but yeah, difficult at the start. I wanted to talk about the Geordies, the fans singing your name. You're a fan favourite when they're singing about you running down the wing to the Abba tune. I mean, how does it feel knowing that you're playing in front of them, St James's Park? They really care about this football club. They love the players. When you come into this environment, how does that feel? Incredible. This, this city is just football. It's, it's football crazy and it's a one city team so the fans just absolutely love it and it's so good to play for. I try and mention it to other players um, you know, when I was with the national team and stuff just to see how they felt about playing here and they all get the same feeling. <laughs> we get that. They absolutely hate it and I absolutely love it. So yeah, it's an amazing fan base. I'm so, uh, so grateful for them to be fair and everything they've done for me. And talking about this season and your own performance, where would you rank it? Obviously, all footballers have targets. Mm. You can let me in on what, what your targets <laughs> were if you want, but you have your own targets, what you want to do. Have you hit those yet? Yeah, I, well, I have, if you go off what I've I set out at the start of the season. But I think as in football, as in life, it, it never stops. Um, once you reach one goal, your goal is reset and you go again. So now I've got a new set of goals that, I'm ready to achieve. The past is the past. Um, and yeah, the season means not if I finish slowly. So I've never been so motivated to, to sort of get to where I need to get to. 10 goals, five assists in all competitions. Come on, what, what are we doing? We're getting up to 15, 20 goals. Yeah, what are you we thinking? Need to, we, need to, we need to get to 15, most <laughs> definitely, as a, as a base level. Um, a couple more assists. And to be honest, just, just carry on playing well because you can never guarantee goals or assists. So for me, I can guarantee, you know, I'll run around, I'll, I'll work hard for, for my teammates and, and the fans. So that's all I can guarantee and the rest hopefully will come. You said it yourself, it's been a roller coaster. I think that sums up Newcastle season at times as well. Ten games remaining, what are you hoping from them? I think Europe, to be honest. I think we've got the squad to do it. Um, we've been really unfortunate this year with injuries that we haven't been able to reach the heights we, we probably should have. And we're getting a few players back now, so we've sort of got no excuses. I think the international breaks come at a good time. Um, it's a great time to push on. I think I think we're ready to do so. It's funny you say Europe because playing against West Ham uh, this weekend, a huge game for them and for yourselves as well in terms of European places for next season. Is this the perfect opportunity to get back on track and to hopefully hit the ground running towards the end of the season? T uh, Saturday's a massive game. Um, they're doing really well in the league. They've got some, some really good players. And we're at home, so we should feel really confident. I think it'd be a massive moment for us if we could beat them because I think we've got another three of the teams above us to play after that. So uh, I think Saturday could be a real, real big win for us. What threats do you think that West Ham could pose against you? Well, they're quite good on the counter-attack. They've got a lot of individual quality. Um, yeah, they, they sort of sit in a low block and counter from there and it's, they're really effective from doing so. So we've got to be, be really good with the ball to, to stop them counter-attacks.